Yes. Welcome to the midterm commencement for the class of 2024. We would like to welcome all of the parents, guardians, family members, friends, and senior high faculty to this joyous event as we honor the accomplishments of these midterm graduates. Please remain standing. Thank you for the city of the National Anthem.
You may be seated. We are so grateful for our student performers this afternoon. Thank you, Joe Heyman and Lauren Brown. Special recognition goes to Mr. Fisher, Superintendent of Schools, Grand Island Public Schools Board of Education member, Ms. Lisa Albers, that is here today. A special thanks to Ms. Maricela Hernandez for inviting the graduates to the stage and reading all of our names today. We would like to acknowledge the parents, the guardians, and of our graduates. Thank you for entrusting your sons and daughters with us and sending us your best every day. We also wish to extend our thanks and acknowledgement to our business and industry partners in the Grand Island community. Thank you for your continued continued support of public education. We are so grateful for our talented and committed teachers, counselors, administrators, and staff within the Grand Island Public Schools who have supported these students, these graduates, throughout their public school learning journey. Today is a day of immense pride and joy as we gather to celebrate the achievements of these outstanding graduates in one of Nebraska's largest Class A high schools. Each of you has embarked on a journey, not just through academics, but through the rich and meaningful tapestry of your own experiences that make up your high school life. As we gather here today, it's essential to acknowledge the incredible dedication, grit, and determination displayed by these graduates. Over the past years, they have faced challenges head-on, overcoming obstacles and turning them into stepping stones toward their own success. Today, we honor not just the presentation of your high school diplomas, but the entire journey that led to this significant achievement. To the Islander graduates of the midterm class of 2024, your success is a testament to your perseverance and resilience. You have earned your place here today, and you are more than a high school graduate. You are a, a living embodiment of your hard work, determination that will stay with you as you pursue your college and career goals. I urge you to remember that success is not confined to this moment, but it extends into the future that you are about to shape for yourself. As you embark on the next chapter of your life, whether it again be college, career, or a military affiliation, carry with you the lessons of grit, the Islander determination that you brought with you to this point. Graduates, as we face the new beginnings, challenges, and opportunities, start each day with a belief in yourself. Take a moment to reflect on five things you are grateful for. For in recognizing the positive aspects of your life, you can train your mind to approach those challenges with unending resilience and courage. Fuel those thoughts with positivity. Surround yourself with words of encouragement and celebrate every day. Graduates, remember, you have an Islander community that believes in you. Continue to wear purple, symbolizing your pride and commitment. And be gold, shining brightly as you embrace the golden opportunities that lie ahead. Congratulations. I represent the entire high school when I say we're so proud of the class of 2024. May your future be bright as the journey that brought you here today. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to introduce Braden Strummer for a musical performance. I 
I have often dreamed of a far off place where a great warm welcome would be waiting for me, where the crowds would cheer when they see my face, and a voice keeps saying, This is where I'm meant to be. I will find my way, I can go the distance, I'll be there someday, if I can be strong, I know every mile will be worth my while. I would go most anywhere to find where I I would go most anywhere to find where I belong. At this time, uh, please join me in welcoming our superintendent of Grand Isle Public Schools, Mr. Fisher to the podium. Well, I want to begin by congratulating all of the parents and guardians and family members that are here with us today. Certainly, graduation is about recognizing the students that are sitting here in front of us, but it's also a really important time for us to recognize that these students wouldn't get here without that support from home. And so we, we really want to congratulate all of you that have contributed to the success that these students have seen in the past and the successes that they're going to have in their futures. And for graduates, Congratulations to you as well. Each of you have traveled a different road to get to where you are today. Some of you have had a much bumpier road than others. <clears throat> but the one thing that uh, life will guarantee us is that there are going to be more bumps ahead. And I think, if you think about what Mr. Gilbertson said, two, two key words that he mentioned in the words that he shared earlier. Grit and determination. You know, a lot of you have overcome some real challenges to get to this milestone today. And that same grit and determination are what will carry you through your futures. There will certainly be bumps ahead. And you need to be able to reach down to that grit and determination that you've had the chance to build over your time here and overcome those bumps. <clears throat> As you move forward and, and you get to this point, this is kind of the end of one part of your life, but it's very much the start of the rest of your life. And so everything that has gone beyond you before has simply been a means for preparing you for where you are today and where you're gonna go from here. So use the tools that you've developed, the relationships that you've built, all of those skills that have been a part of what we have been trying to instill in you for the last four years through high school and the years in middle and elementary school before that. Use those skills, use those relationships, and build on them to prepare yourself for a great future. Because in the end, that's really what we want, that's what your family wants, and hopefully 
that's what you want, is to have a great future. Whether that future takes you on to post-secondary education, takes you into the workforce, takes you into the military, wherever you go from here, make sure that you set yourself up to have a great future. And with that, I would just extend another congratulations on behalf of the Grand Island Public Schools Board of Education, on behalf of our administration, the staff, and your teachers. Great job getting here today. Keep making us proud. Thank you. Ridwan Abdul. Tomás Ajanel Morales. Aiden Betts. <laughs> Alberto Bermudez. <laughs> Elizabeth Branch. Tildy Bristol. Eliana Broca. Aiden Cameron. Nakia Captain. Darren Carr. <laughs> Jasmine Connor. <laughs> Creighton Cummings. Jillian Dury.
Alberto Flores. Carmen Gómez Radios. Natalie Hansen. Brian Hernandez. Kamori Hofstetler. Logan Majeski. Eileen Mariscal Pineda. Aiden McCartney. <laughs> Nicolás Muñoz. Emerson Nieto Silva. José Ortiz Guillén. Aubrey Putabong. Mauricio Prieto Ramírez. Alyssa Ramos. Christopher Rauch. Aida Raimundo Garcia. Owen Robinson. <laughs> Natalia Rodriguez. <laughs> Ava Cipher.
Destiny Sombra. Caden Savoda. Ann Tran. Angie Valdez. Abigail Vargas Trey Victor Alex Warner Kevin Shek. <laughs> Kevin Chiquin Pablo. Just one business item. Uh, audience, we'd like you to remain seated during the recessional, and you are welcome to meet the graduates in the foyer of our auditorium. And I would also add, you are welcome to come up on stage after, take photos, take pictures, stay as long as you want, um, and uh, enjoy. All right, graduates, please stand. Graduates. Let's hear it. on behalf of the faculty and staff of Grand Island Senior High School. It is great, it is with great pride that I, as the executive principal of this high school, introduce you to the midterm graduating class of 2024. Class, you may move your tassels to the left. Let's hear it! 